Hi everyone, I am Nikhil Mittal. I am the creator of Nishang. This video is a part of the day 5 of week of PowerShell shells which I am running on my blog labofapenetrationtester.com This is the final day in this blog series and we will see shells or interactive PowerShell sessions in two not so common protocols. So let's get started with DNS. Uh, we will use DNS CAD2 by Ron as the server for our shell. So this is how we can start DNS CAD2. Let's uh, listen on week of PS shells dot com. So now our server is listening, but because we are not running on an actual uh, domain name server so we need to make a direct connection to the server otherwise we can use the pre-configured uh, DNS on, on target machine to connect to our server so let's use powercat let's provide the IP address of this DNS cat to server with uh, DNS name of week of PS shells dot com and we want an a PowerShell shell. As you can see, we uh, the DNS cat to server reported that a new session has been established. Let's interact with it and it is an interactive PowerShell session and it is running completely over the DNS protocol which is quite nice because if we look at most of the corporate or enterprise firewalls or networks, DNS traffic is one of the least monitored and it is generally allowed through firewalls as well. So this way we establish an interactive PowerShell session over DNS. Let's just close these things. Now, let's move on to the second protocol which we are going to have a look at and that is ICMP again this protocol is many times allowed across firewalls and it is again it is one of those which are less monitored or are not very common so as a server we are going to use the server part of ICMP SH tools and we are going to provide the 
source and destination IP addresses. Now we can use the invoke PowerShell ICMP script which allows us to establish uh, an interactive PowerShell session over ICMP. Uh, I forgot to fire Wireshark, so let's let's see it for this demo. So now, if I run this, as you can see, I have an interactive uh, PowerShell session over ICMP and if you see the traffic unfortunately it is currently it is not encoded or encrypted or in uh, obscure in any any way so the traffic is quite visible but it is a valid ICMP almost valid ICMP traffic the the packet size may be unusual I've tried to keep it a uh, usual so this way this this could be quite useful because in in many networks it is not allowed to use ICMP that is to ping inside or ping inwards but it is allowed to ping or use ICMP outwards note that if you read the blog post we need to disable ICMP eco replies prior to using this just go through the blog post on that for that command I'm, I'm unable to recall that right now so this way we can use valid ICMP traffic for an interactive PowerShell session hope this would be useful for at least some of you and this concludes our week of PowerShell shells I've tried my best to be as informative as possible in fact I personally I learned a lot while programming these tools using the other ones and, and writing about them and I hope the same for you and I have had fun that is the most important thing and again I hope that you had fun as well uh, that is all for this video uh, one thing I would like to add is I tried to keep all the blog posts and videos concise and that is one of the reasons because few of you asked that is one of the reasons I never touched protocol level details in any of the blog posts and if you are wondering what we can do after getting shell access to a machine please see my previous blog post and I have included a small section in in the in today's blog post about how you can execute PowerShell scripts and modules once you have shell access on a machine Hope you enjoyed this video and the blog series. Thank you very much for watching.